Hello and welcome back to In My Image. So we're <clears throat> hard at work upgrading our vassals' capitals in order to promote some feudalism. I'm tired of the um, tribal vassals always joining factions, so we're upgrading their market towns primarily. And it's been a calm few years now for uh, Khan Belgute the Great. No revolts, no nothing. I can't say I disapprove. Hmm. Maybe we should make ourselves... Who are... Who are a minor dispute over... Ugh. Alright, so you're already being... I'm thinking it wouldn't be too bad to earn a bit more money. And we are young, so we might create ourselves a tributary. Wouldn't actually be too bad of an idea. The question is, who should we attack? They are not really earning that much money, I would say. Monthly balance is literally negative. This guy is earning a bit. This guy, on the other hand, he's got 8,000 men. He's tribal. He can't summon any... Uh... <clears throat> he can't summon any... But what? No, okay. Uh, last session, we uh, had a relative go off on a claim war for Oman. But he did not uh, succeed. This is someone else, I think, who's taken it. Anyway, Temujin Rosas cannot raise any... Um... Tribal troops from the decision because they don't have 500 prestige. They will get 500 prestige though Let's actually take a look at Oman here. Oman is earning quite a bit of money so We will we'll make Oman our tributary That's a, not a bad idea Let's uh, let's do that. I think Get some action in here make a tributary Get all the troops over here. Actually, we're fighting some raiders here, apparently. Let's go and uh, end them. Let's not go on to that province. Gather up the troops. We'll go ahead with a with a forward army. We might make the Targetai Shiraz our uh, tributary as well, but they are um, <laughs> not earning any money whatsoever. Not a single thing. Some random victories against raiders along the way. I have a hard time seeing that we would have to uh, use more than 10k troops to get this war won, but why not have a few in reserve? They will get Carpenter's Guild. Ah, I like that one. It's the. Um, Local build time modifier, build cost modifier, and some lessened city tax. It's time to upgrade our training grounds then. We're currently earning not very much, but we're still going positive, even though we have all our troops raised. I think we're gonna earn quite a bit of money from uh, tributes. I mean, they all need to bow down before the true emperors of the Mongol Empire, right? The ones who uh, united them all? Ah. Wait, this is the Order of St. Anthony's housing here. Can we attack the Order of St. Anthony? Yeah, we have a CB against them, so I guess it's tributary. Are they earning any money? Is the question. Well, a little bit. Wouldn't be nothing. Man's troops are dodging away from us. I don't blame them. Easy. I don't even want to uh, destroy their army if I can avoid it. I want them to be able to defend themselves so they don't get conquered while they are my tributary. I could support them, of course, but hey, where's the fun in that? Lots of temples here. This must have been the personal domain of the Targetai Shiras, for a while at least. So the AI really likes building temples. Rundai the Usurper, Targetaia. Oh, look at that, by the way. Nothing they can't recover from. Uh, the question is rather for the Bolormai Gazar here, if they can recover from that. Portugal still going strong? Actually, I think they lost the province in Porto. Huh. Dean, are you making... Oh, you're at your border here, your natural border. 
lots of little provinces going independent here and there. Anyway, let's finish up our war. Alright, this is not the set of traits I wished for, for my son is affectionate, haughty, and an idolizer. Idolizer is... hmm. I guess... Ah, he'll become a diplomat then. Why not? Maybe he'll die and someone more worthy can take over anyway. Look at that, conscientious and curious, under struggle. That's not something you see that often. You surrender. Yeah. That's right. You do surrender. How says Bayadia here? How much do we earn from tributes? We earn... Oh, we haven't gotten it yet. We need to wait a month. There we go. 17.28. That's more than we get from trade, to be honest. So it's not that bad. It's not bad at all. Get back home. Kill some raiders. Get out of here. And take a look at our vassals. Oh, have you split up? Duchy of Sistan. Alright, so you have inherited this from someone. You're feudal at least, so I, I like that. You became a theocracy. Oh no, I wanted you to become a, a merchant republic. The Calicutides. Oh well, can't have everything I suppose. No Merchant Republics yet, I guess we'll have to uh, hope that our relative here becomes a Merchant Republic. Or this guy. Oh, upgrading the shipbuilder. How annoying. It means I can't help you. I can help you though. Most of my vassals are actually becoming civilized. We're doing a good job. Quickly, get over here. Oh, they've got some claimants over in, over in Targathai Shiraz. Shagai Bayad, struggled for you. You can worship the ancestors again, I like that. Do we want prosperity this time around? We do! Let's go for prosperity. Oh, and I guess I'll have to gouge out my eye then, because we don't have a, a sacrifice. You know, we need to honor the, the ancestor, so... Who needs two eyes, anyway? I mean, one is plenty enough. Ooh, we can uh, tributize this guy. He's earning a bit of money, I think. We'll send our retinues down there. Oh, are we beating these guys? Yes, we are. Whew. Nice, we got some economy trade points from the worshipping the ancestors. Hmm, new roads. Local build cost modifier, that's not bad at all. We need to upgrade our second castle here as well. Let's go for some fortifications. They're cheaper now. Let's get some money back up, reinforce our uh, retinues, get rid of the raiders. With a cool uh, sort of falcon, I guess, on the um, county uh, coat of arms. And we did not die from our injuries. Instead, we're just cool and one-eyed. Same trait opinion, plus five. Any interesting kingdoms popping up anywhere? No, but um, the Ongerati Belcherin here is regaining the territories they lost to an independence revolt. And that was pretty much a given. There's still 60 years left until all hell breaks loose in the Mongol revolts. Looking forward to that. Oh, we can introduce our heir to the realm. Let's do that. Send you down here. Anything for Prince Cthulhu? Absolutely. Kokochu. Interesting name. A little weakling though. Hmm. Try to save him. That kid is a disaster. And he became close friends with... A child of a baron. Oh, 
No time for this nonsense. He's infatuated with Baroness Gurbesu of Guja. The Duchy of Raishur Duab. No the Grand Tournament, not sure if I care about that right now, but our heir became groomed to per perfection. So he's proud and groomed to perfection, means he gets a an additional one prestige, that's not bad. In addition to being the Prince of Bayadia, which gives him 0 0.750. Alright, who of our vassals still need assistance? You do. That will cause you to feudalize. Uh, you need quite a few buildings still. And you will feudalize after that. You should already do it, but you're not doing it. Not sure what to think of that. And, well, those are the only ones I can see. We have a little Republican here. Lord Mayor Nay Nayagov Sarasvata Mandala. He's got a pet cat. Alright, we have some decent commanders, and uh, these are all light infantry, so... We are going to make him a tributary. Attack! Think we'll win? Yes. Call in allies? We don't need to call in our other tributary? Oh no, what's going on? It's not the Black Death, is it? Oh. It could still... No, this is gone. This has to be food poisoning, surely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it is food poisoning. Food poisoning is completely alright. Yes, the bull is prospering. Food poisoning. And we did not get a mild or severe illness. <laughs> it's not gonna... Food poison, I'm not gonna cut off my leg for it. As long as you know what you're doing. And I feel better. Alright, food poisoning, death averted. Huh, destabilization. Someone is destabilizing this one province count. Not very necessary, but hey. <laughs> what happened to my steward? Did you hear the death sound? Anyway, you. You're my new steward. Give me some taxes. Get out of my capital! Bam! I'll support uh, the carpenters. Get out of here. That's right. Can we build something exciting? Well, it's not exciting, but it's something. Let's build a stable. A heavily discounted stable. And the last province to tip the scales completely in our favor. Done. Give me all your money. Now let's quickly duck back and get rid of the raiders. Uh, must <sighs> I can trade some... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, sure, I'll become cruel to give him wrath. It's not too bad. Cruel, of course, gives a um, vassal opinion penalty, but my vassals like me quite a bit. Mostly because I build buildings in their domain. That's for a few years. But it's definitely not insignificant. Take a look here. Alright, so we don't have many tribal vassals left. And you're all under this guy, so I think this is the last tribal vassal. And he will not be tribal for long, except for this guy, of course, but I believe he needs to increase the laws. Nothing we can do for him. Consumptious, curious, willful. That's gonna do what you put. My struggle educations are severely misfiring. None of them are actually getting uh, military uh, traits. 
Perfect, Bayadia. Should probably go for this guy as well. Just make him a tribute. Make our name larger on the map. I don't necessarily want more territory, I just want better territory. I'm gonna win. Hey, what's up? My uncle? I don't want you to attack me. Get out of here. That reminds me, I have not tried to... Uh, let's see, my court and I want my great house. And unmarried. And adults. Alright, you guys, you need some wives. This is a great character, except for the fact that he's a one-handed lunatic. Uh, let's go for her. There you go, sir. Hmm. You're, you're also pretty damn good, actually. So, uh, have her. Don't care about the bastard, though. You can do whatever you like with your life. Yeah, we won. Ooh, a glass eye. Whenever I talk to women nowadays, I can tell that they are bothered by my missing eye. Yeah, let's go for um, a glass eye. And that makes it appear as if we don't have a, an eye patch. I think that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Someone was offered up in sacrifice to the ancestors. <laughs> Not bad, not a bad way to end your life when you're really old. You sacrifice to the ancestors. Ah, look at that. This poor kingdom is uh, collapsing. They've lost a province. They're not getting attacked though, so that's something at least. Good on them. Victory. Sure, let's party. Alright, so let's take a look here. How is it looking for our vassals? Oh, alright, so he feudalized. <laughs> they both became theocracies. What? Not sure if I approve. Hey. So I've got, what? Like four? No. Three, four, yeah, four theocracies. Ah, uh, that's not very common. Uh, I, I guess I don't mind, but I need to increase the taxes then on, um, on, uh, Theocracies rather than uh, than burgers. Man, that's really weird. All right, so Konkan, you are um, feudal. I approve. None of them were my family though, so none of um, my relatives gave away their land except for Stravani. Used to be my. Uh... <laughs> uh, well, this land used to be held by my dynasty. But anyway, look at that, he's a hedonistic cannibal that's also possessed! Fantastic! That means if he's possessed and a cannibal, that means he will eat anyone he imprisons, so... Well, let's keep a <laughs> voice of Jesus and holy comet. What? What is happening to people? Died under suspicious circumstances? That's one of my wives. By the way, I still haven't got a single genetic trait. Yeah, I have! Here we go! Prince Horkidag of Bayadia. You go for struggle. Anyway, let's... Let's look up another strong wife. 25-year-old bastard. Absolutely. You will serve me well. Can we upgrade anything here? No. No, no. It's still stable. Don't really care for it. We should probably look into um, upgrading the land of uh, our dynasty, which is this part of India and also the southern part, in order to make sure that they are um, well uh, prepared for anything that happens to them. I'm just gonna check it out here, see if they are close to uh, upgrading or not. It doesn't look like it. I guess we can hold a grand tournament. It'll be fun. A little theocracy here. 
No, that's actually the Stravani theocracy. Hmm. Stop burning down my church. Get out of here. I should, if I just could, go for Gasania and make them. Actually, can I get a non aggression pact with you? It's too distant. I need to gain some distance then so I can communicate with him in Gasania. I would have thought that this would be within range, but apparently not. But I am in range of Chief Temujin the second of Amman here. Daman. Would having this province help me get over to Gasania? Because I think if I have a um, non-aggression pact with Gasania, the raiders will go away. So that might be a nice uh, short-term goal for us. Daman. You know what? I'll try and get it. Very good. Actually, that's pretty shitty, so... I'm not too happy with this air, but... Well, what can you do, really? New ambition. Let's see the realm prosper. Five years of peace. Can I do that? I'm probably just gonna forget it, as I usually do. And go to war. I'm 34 years old, I will be 39 then when it's over, and, uh, well, we'll see if I actually manage to complete the Seed the Realm Prosper objective or not. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at the world. Well, you're holding on to your feudal ways. I am impressed. This Gellre has collapsed in turn. That's hardcore. Uh, might be a religious revolt, actually. Yeah, it is. It's a religious revolt here that has forced them to collapse. Gotten some Vikings over in Sicily. This border gore here is still highly unsettling. Any interesting religions popping up anywhere? No. Tengri. I'm looking for uh, Judaism. I think that's the one I haven't seen yet. Popping up anywhere. Oh, no. <laughs> they are here on the Shetlands. We have some Car Mongol Jews. By the way, how is the culture looking? Culture is looking mostly uh, contained to their respective spheres. Except for here. No particular spread of any one culture, as far as I can see. No, well, it, actually, yeah, our Unen Mongol, or Unen Mongol, has spread into the um, Ik Mongol lands quite far, actually. No, I'm not gonna do that. Do we wanna switch away from business for a while? As soon as I leave. Um, I would say we might want to go for something else. Hmm. What though? I mean, we can keep... We could go for rulership. That gives us a chance to build uh, castles in these slots for a discounted price. I should send my children away to get educated by someone else than me, by the way. Let's pick some of our powerful vassals. Yes. Oh, you're not even old enough yet. <laughs> Became best friends with Prince Archbishop Altan of Stravar. Supporters. That makes us... Hmm, three versus four. I need one more on my side. Yagiradai, Bugente, Borogul, or Akuthai. Just one of them. Oh, wait, what? My marshal is landless. That's not good. Hey, you. Let's 
get a non-aggression pack there, because why not? And can we... No, you have not spent the favor. Alright, this should allow us to get taxes from the churches. Let's actually take a look. Where do we get money from? City tax is 100, church 51. Still probably worth it to increase the burger taxes. To be com completely honest. So, why don't we do that? Burger vessel tax plus 40%. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Alright, a host claim. You have 12k troops, Prince Menge. Alright, so where are you? You are currently in Reni. Alright, you're very close. Let's meet you on the battlefield then, sir. A lot of my troops are just... ...getting slaughtered as they stand by raiders. Yes, let's move up and... Oh, are you gonna attack me? No, he's not. He's gonna go to Ranikot. He's not attacking me, not yet at least. He would have been go going like this if he was supposed to attack me. Oh, did you re did you split your troops up? That's that's a mistake, my friend. Let's see. Will will we actually? Oh. Did you usurp it? Why did you usurp it? Where is your capital? You're not feudal! Ugh, look at that. I have to start from the beginning with you. 29th of August. Yeah, let's stop you in your tracks and then... Oh, what? Um, that did not sound like a natural death to me. Count Belgute has given up the ghost at age 35. He died under suspicious circumstances. Alright, so we're now playing as our diplomatic son. Khan Cthulhu, a renowned man. Dignitaries from far and wide will surely bow before him. Yeah, that's a nice regnal number. What is it? It's like four, I think. Yeah, it's four. Khan Cthulhu the fourth. So be it. Alright, we still need to fight off the claimant. Uh, but now we're also suffering some problems with our um, domain limit. Let's buff that up by marrying her. All the others are completely garbage. So, rulership. Ooh, lots of gold. I don't mind. And we need some more wives. Let's go for strong ones. Strong wives. Um, yes. Hmm, need the younger ones. Let's, uh, let's marry some of our family members. That can't ever go wrong. Room and air. And let's set the focus here. Where are all the diseases spawning now, by the way? Ah, in northern Germany and Marrakesh. Perfect. Less of them to go around down in India for once. And Koryaltai of Tum in Marrakesh. Hmm. Still a claiming Daman. Alright, let's kill the intruder. And try to uh, avoid getting murdered. Oh, are you gonna attack over the river? Ah, that's not a very smart move of you, but let's reinforce just in case. Ah, we're winning. There we go. We can white piece him, I suppose. Don't really need to uh, capture him and kill him or anything. It's actually in my court. Ah, oh, well, well fought, my friend. I will marry you to Bulugan. Good. I did not set us back any. We will worship the ancestors. And I wish for prosperity and growth for my realm. 
Hmm, yes. A strategist will surely help people in the next life. And now we lost our um, tributary, so we might go on another tributary spree. Trying to tributize everyone around us. Not yet, though. We're only 17 years old, are we gonna last for a long time? Let's hold a grand tournament. And also, can I perchance get some non-aggression packs here? I can. I mean, not many, but a few. I hope. Alright. It's actually not that many at all. Alright, let's hope that they don't instantly join factions. You are in the independence faction. Let's make you the High Almoner and give you a gift. Hmm. Yep. Yep, looking good. I wouldn't mind replacing one of these with um, a Merchant Republic, to be honest. And there is one Lord Mayor here. Can I revoke this? Yes, I can. Right, Prince Archbishop Dariaitai of Anarta. I'm sorry. Uh, can I even grant this to you, by the way? I can. Perfect. Right, so I'm granting this now to this Lord Mayor. He will have... Uh, Actually, is this guy a claimant now? Yeah, he is. So he might fight for it to get it back, but... Anyway, we will grant him Anarta and we'll now get ourselves a Merchant Republic. We have the Calicutides with a nice and big family already. That's one of the reasons I wanted to do it. Uh, this guy is also a Calicutid, so he's going to be included in the succession. And Jokunan. And they're all named Jokunan. Well, that's not confusing at all. I should be able to rename some of these. To be honest. Just to uh, make them slightly distinct. Um, Yokuban? Yokunan? Oh, or, oh. I thought I renamed your dynasty, but your, your house is still named. Yokunan. There we go. Oh, I guess I'll rename the other ones later. But now we've got ourselves a merchant republic. And a fairly rich one at that. And he wants to be on the council. We should probably put him there then. Instead of this crappy... Yeah, this guy is... No, that was someone else. But alright. Yeah, you're the one that we're trying to upgrade the capital of here. <laughs> Getting completely wrecked. Anyway, let's continue in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and uh, the world is still looking fairly tribal, even though it is looking up in areas. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.